Like so many others tracking the progress of Mary Lee, the massive great white shark, Coastal Carolina That's University cool. marine science professor Dan Abel knows she's out there somewhere, and he admits to being tempted to jump in a boat to try to find her. But he says the scientists who tagged Mary Lee want to see what she's doing without human interference. As much as I would have loved to have seen as magnificent a beast as she was, as she is, uh, I knew better. Abel and his students have tagged sharks too, though not with the same kind of satellite transmitter that scientists from OSEARCH have attached to Mary Lee. For example, a nine-foot lemon shark that Abel's students caught in Winyaw Bay was later found off the coast of Florida. We get that information back. Uh, it's simply a little bit lower tech. Abel says people are fascinated by Mary Lee's migration because humans have always been intrigued by monsters and great whites are often depicted as man-eaters. There is so much that even the most knowledgeable researchers don't know about great white sharks that finding out where Mary Lee is out there and where she is headed should help them answer many important questions. Why they're going where they are going, are they going to eat? We don't know where they mate, we don't know where they give birth. So these kinds of questions can ultimately be answered when we see where the animals are migrating to. Instead of being scared a great white is off our coastline, Abel says we should be glad. The species is so important to the ocean's ecosystem, it helps secure the delicate balance for many other fishes in the sea. In Pauley's Island, Joel Allen, News Channel 15.